Normally Pac-12 programs make strides much later in the recruiting cycle. Not so this week. UCLA jumps three spots. That's the most of any team in the top 20 with the addition of four-star defensive end Olawale Bedeku. Standard spelling there on Bedeku. What does Bedeku bring to the Bruins? Tremendous upside, Phil. I don't know if there's any player in this class with a higher ceiling of development than Bedeku. Wow. You've got to keep in mind when you're watching this young man that he only played so far heading into this senior season one year of American football in the States. His senior year is just going to be his second season, and you watch him as a junior. He's really taken to the game well. You would really be surprised to realize how little experience he has. You put that in a mix with his athleticism. I mean, this is a young man who could run. He's very flexible. He could be a menacing edge rusher. I think that in the end, he could be a potential difference maker at the college level. In our last ESPN 300 update, he made a big jump. And if he continues to progress as he has over his senior year and then over the all-star period, this could be a young man who's not done moving up in the rankings yet either. So this is a, a tremendous pickup for UCLA. So far, the leader for this group. You mentioned Bedeku's jump. He went from number 58 overall to number 28. He becomes the fifth ESPN 300 commit for UCLA, the top four of whom are either defensive ends or inside linebackers.